Cool Herc played this wonderful music. He played these wonderful B sides, C sides, D sides of records. And he had this amazing sound system called the Herculoids. I started hearing about this guy by the name of Herc, Herc, Herc. Everybody kept on talking about Herc. So that's when the fellas and I from the neighborhood, we decided to go and check out Cool Herc for the very first time. My first hip-hop party was the Cool Herc party. At age 14, I was a freshman at Truman High School, and all my friends, they would say, man, we gotta go check out Cool Herc because his parties are supposed to be, you know, the party. I started organizing this party. Where am I gonna get the music from? Herc had all the equipment in his room. So I knew he was gonna be playing the music. How much are we gonna charge people? Charge 25 cents for girls, 50 cents for fellas. How do you promote it now? Had index cards. Before there were flyers, there were index cards. And on the top, we always gave it a title, which was whatever the current song was. And I put Cool Herc's name on it because he's gonna be the DJ. And he was pretty popular in the neighborhood and in school. So they were really coming, you know, to see Cool Herc play. Since I'm organizing it, I have to give everybody their position where they need to be. So I told my mom, Miss Campbell, is going to be in the kitchen to supervise what was going on. Herc and his crew, they set up the equipment. And people didn't realize it, that our parents were there. We never had any problems. It was my first exposure to a cool Herc party. And the sound was loud. He was playing records that would not normally be heard on the radio. And the kids would form circles, and guys and girls would get in the middle of the circle and start competing in different dance styles against each other. It was something that was different from being in like a normal disco club. It was like a little hole in the wall. Everybody was driving and dancing and everything. And I saw the sound system that he was playing on. Now, I was used to be sneaking down to the discos at a young age. But Herc, he was playing a lot of obscure sounds that you don't normally hear, and they had a funky pattern, you know, a rhythm that was different from anywhere else. And every time when he played that rhythm, I saw that people in the dance floor assemble and start doing some footwork, which is called break dancing. And I was amazed by watching this whole thing. It was really great, and we had to be creative. We didn't have a stroke light at the time and it was <laughs> Herc's friend, his name is Mike. Mike. So the, he stood by the light switch and Herc would stay in the microphone. And, you know, Mike, Mike hit the lights when the B-boy started breaking. So Mike was just there flickering the light, flickering the light. But it was, it was fun. 